Hi, everybody. So what we're going to do here is solve some trigonometric equations. Now, um, if you have a calculator, obviously, you can just sketch it, sketch sine of x and sketch a half and find where they where they meet and write down all the solutions. I'm going to assume we don't have a calculator. So we're in a paper one here and we need to solve this. So the first thing you might say is when I know the answer, it's 30 degrees. And I would say, well, firstly, we're in radians. So you'd say, okay, then it's pi over six. And then I would say, well, you're half right, because there's another solution. And this is the thing we need to figure out. And the reason these are difficult is because they can have more than one solution. And how many solutions they have is determined by this domain. So here it says x is between zero and two pi. So the way we're going to solve these is we're going to go inverse sine. So if we know the sine of something, we always do the inverse sine. So we're going to do the inverse sine of a half. And the inverse sine of a half, we know is pi over six. But that's not the solution. That's just the inverse sine of a half. To get this solution or the solutions, we're going to draw this cast diagram. C A S T. Now, we know sine is positive sine x equals a half. So sine is positive. So that means the solutions have to be in this quadrant for sine and this quadrant for all. And it's pi over six. So it has to be pi over six here. And this is pi over six here. Now, what are the solutions? Well, the solutions are this one, which is pi over six, and this one, which is pi, because that's pi, so it's pi minus pi over six. What's pi minus pi over six? Well, look, let's do pi minus pi over six. What I like to do if, the, if you're struggling with this is multiply by, by one in disguise. So I'm gonna multiply this by one, and I'm gonna do six over six. So I have six pi over six minus one pi over six is five pi over six. Okay, so my solutions are x equals pi over six, that's my first solution, and five pi over six, that is my second solution. Fine. Now, these are I'm gonna do four of them and they get progressively worse or more difficult. So this is more difficult because the range is now negative 360 to 360, so there's a, or the domain, there's a large domain there, so I'm gonna have, I'm probably, well, I'm gonna have four solutions, I believe, but I'll show you how I know that in a second. So cos of x is root, negative root two over two. First thing I do is I say the inverse cos. Now, I'm actually not gonna do negative root two over two, I'm just gonna do root two over two. And the reason for that is I just want to know what the acute angle is. The cast diagram that I'm going to do over here will deal with all the, the positives and negatives in a minute. So the inverse cos of this is I know and you should know from Mr. Flynn's triangles, this is 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Now at this point I say the cos is negative. So it has to be in, well it can't be in this quadrant, it can't be in this quadrant, it has to be in this quadrant or this quadrant and 45 degrees is going to be let's say here 45 and here 45 but my solution is not 45 obviously to find my solutions I have to do this now I'm gonna have positive solutions and negative solutions so my first positive is there what's that angle well, this is 180, so it's 180 minus 45, which is 135. And my second positive solution is going to be 180 plus 45, which is 225. So I'm going to write x equals 135 degrees, comma, 225 degrees. Now, I need to get the negative angles. Now, the cos is a nice one because, because it's symmetrical around that y-axis, the negative solutions are gonna equal the positive ones. So the first negative will be negative 135, and the second negative one 
will be negative 225. So negative 135 and negative 225. And that is my four solutions. So I knew it was four because I can't go anymore because it stops at 360. So as soon as I get to here, there are no more solutions there. Okay, next question. Now, this is more difficult because it's now not, it's not tan of x equals root three, it's tan of two x equals root three. So what I'm gonna do is this domain, it says x is between zero and two pi, but I'm actually now, I actually wanna know what two x is between. So I'm gonna, mul or I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply this by two. So I'm gonna say two x has to be between zero and four pi. So I multiply both of these by two. This just happens to be zero because two times zero is zero. So two x now can be between zero and four pi. So I'm gonna get the inverse tan of root three. Again, I need to know that it is pi over three in radians. And then I'm gonna get my cast diagram to find out where these solutions are. So C, A, S, T. Tan is positive, so it's here and it's here. Root three, root three, or sorry, root three, sorry, pi over three is what I wanted to say. Pi over three is here and pi over three is here. But the solutions, my solutions are, well, the first one is pi over three. And my second one is pi plus pi over three, which is, well, let's do pi plus pi over three, multiply by three over three, three pi over three plus one pi over three equals four pi over three. So I have, my first solution is pi over three and my second solution is four pi over three. So let's write that down. But here's the bit where we need to be very careful. It's not x equals pi over three or x equals four pi over three. It's two x equals pi over three. I'm still gonna write it down as, as a, using commas. So two x is pi over three and two x is four pi over three. But wait, we're not gonna stop just there. So normally we stop here because there's no more between here and two pi. But now my domain is between zero and four pi, so I need to keep going. So my next solution would actually be all of this, which is two pi plus my pi over three, which is essentially just this pi over three plus two pi, which would be seven pi over three. And then it's also this solution plus two pi, which would be um, 10 pi over three. And this is two X, but I need to find X on its own. So I'm gonna divide them all by two. So X can be pi over six, X can be four pi over six, X can be seven pi over six, and X can be 10 pi over six. Okay, now that is obviously not easy. Um, these, are, these are not easy. I've done, the, I've done this quite quickly. If you're struggling with, obviously watch it again or press pause or whatever, but the reason I can do them so quickly is because I've practiced so many of them. So make sure you, um, make sure you, you are getting the opportunity to practice these types of questions. Last example, this says sine of X plus six equals negative root two over two. X is between 180 and, or negative 180 and 180. Now this, the, the reason this question is more difficult is because it's not x, it's x plus 60. So again, I want to change this domain for my angle into x plus 60. What can x plus 60 degrees be? So I need to add 60 to this, which would be negative 120. And I'm gonna add 60 to this, which would be 240. Now I do this whole thing again. What is the inverse sine of and I'm just gonna pick the positive one because I just wanna know what that acute angle is. Uh, root two over two is 45 degrees. Cast diagram, nearly there. 
cast diagram C A S T. Where can it be? Well, be careful. The sign is negative, so it can't be here and it can't be here. It has to be this one and this one, 45 degrees. So this is going to be 45 here. And this is going to be 45 here. It's always against the x-axis. And my solutions now, let's be careful. My solutions can go from um, negative 120 to 240. So my positive solution is going to be this one, which is 225. So x can equal, I'm sorry, not x, x plus 60 degrees can equal 225. But if I kept going, if I did another positive one, this would actually be 315. So it's gone too far. It's gone beyond this 240. So that is not actually a solution. So now I just need to do the negative one. This negative one here is negative 45. That's okay because it's in this um, it's in this domain. So negative 45 is okay. That's a degree. And if I so 120 is the furthest I can go back. If I go to this, what what angle is that? Well, that's negative 135. So that's gone too far. So I'm not allowed to include that. So I'm I'm finished with these two solutions. However, it's not asking me for x plus 60. It's as, asking me for x. So I need to subtract 60 from this. 225 minus 60 is 1. 165 degrees and negative 45 minus 60 is negative 105 degrees and if you subbed this in here or this in here you would get negative root 2 over 2 okay so obviously this is this is a difficult question this is complicated in fact, they're all quite complicated. And the more solutions that are required, the more complicated it gets. But I find if you if you really get the hang of this cast diagram, which you will with enough practice, then you can solve any of these types of trigonometric equations.